Welcome back to Tech After Dark. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use your DualSense PS5 controller, or any other controller works as well, but I'll be going over how to use this controller on Steam or any of your PC games. So right off the get-go, you can use two ways to connect the controller. Bluetooth through the USB dongle here, or wired mode, which they actually include this wire in the PS5 box, so you also use this to charge your controller. We're just gonna go over how to connect it through wired first. So all you need to do is plug it in to the Type-C connector there, and plug it in the USB on your PC, and you'll see the light illuminating, which is uh, it's green, my favorite color. So. so we'll use Cyberpunk as an example on how to use the controller on Cyberpunk. So I'll go into Steam here. And one thing to note, um, I didn't buy Cyberpunk on the Steam store. So if you actually go to your games and then add a non-Steam game to my library, you can actually find all of your games within your computer. So you'll just go down to Cyberpunk or any game that you don't have installed and select the game and add selected programs right there. And that will actually add your game right to Steam. So that's really great. So after you add Cyberpunk to your library here, go to big picture mode on the top right. So that will launch big picture mode. And from there, your controller actually starts working. We just wanna make sure that everything is in order. So we just go to the settings on the top right, and we go to controller settings, and we just have to make sure that PlayStation configuration support is on. And it detects the PlayStation 5 controller. And from here, you can go into preferences and name your controller, have rumble on and off, or have a player slot LED if you have multiple controllers connected to the PC and you can change your controller light color, brightness, and saturation. And it will actually update it on the bottom right there. And it'll actually, you can like click identify and it'll start rumbling. And you can also calibrate it. So if you do have controller drift, you can actually calibrate it correctly, which is really awesome. And uh, my controller is brand new, so there's no issue there. So click cancel. So let's just go right into the library and click on Cyberpunk. And one thing to note, the PlayStation icons and buttons don't actually work inside of these games. Um, they still use the Xbox um, X, Y, A, B, and R, B, L, B, and all those buttons. So you won't actually see PlayStation controller buttons on these games. So it says press B to continue and just press options. And from here you can go and play in the game. And just to note that the PlayStation button, if you click that, it'll actually launch the big picture mode. So from here you can go into controller configuration and change controller options. Um, and the left touchpad button will open up the settings and the right will open up the options in game. So we'll just click continue. And I'm not too far into the game, but kind of give you an example of how it all works and everything. So right there, everything kind of works here. And we're just gonna walk over and we can go up to the mirror and you can actually press X, which is actually square. So, so everything works great stop looking and yeah everything works on the on the dual sense controller here so walk around draw our weapon and the vibrations actually work pretty well um, when I jump over ledges and stuff or jump around the vibration actually activates on the controller so everything is emulated from an Xbox controller support onto the DualSense. 
just no haptic support or anything like that. That will come on a later update when Cyberpunk actually releases the next generation update. So I hope they do add haptic support. That's how everything works there. And I'll just kind of show you how to, how to use Bluetooth on this as well. So we'll plug it. And so just plug in the Bluetooth dongle here. And we're just setting up device on the bottom right of Windows. If you click on that, and it just says the device is ready, and you can actually go and add Bluetooth or other device. So once I click here, I can click and hold share and PlayStation button at the same time. And you'll see it blinking, double blinking. Click Bluetooth and wireless controller will come up. So click wireless controller, your device is ready to go. Wireless controller, click done, save device. And PlayStation 5 controller using configs from my account. So just accept that and then we just go right into big picture mode. And from there I can actually just use the controller without a wire. So that's really awesome. There's really low latency here. It's really not an issue. And I can just go to my library and just start the game right away. And everything works beautifully. It's actually really awesome. And right from there I can just use the PS button to load the shortcut of all the options. So from here, we'll just press B to continue, options, and right from there, everything starts to work. And yeah, if you want a lower latency or anything like that, you can actually just use the wire. And there has been some games that do support full PlayStation 5 DualSense haptics. So watch out for those games. They work really well, but for this game, it's just running Xbox configurations, so just regular vibrations here, nothing crazy. But everything works great, like it's quite responsive and very playable. So I really like playing on a controller, so for the PC, it's at its best. So that's how to use a DualSense controller on your PC. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.